challenge yourself, push through the fear, say pleasure, I'll get to you later. The pleasure is going to come through that discomfort. The pleasure comes knowing that you push through, knowing that you experience discomfort, knowing that you accomplished something, knowing that you did something that you really didn't want to do, that you played to the weaknesses instead of your strengths, that you chose a new path. You took out the machete in the jungle, man. You broke some fucking branches. Welcome, my friends. Holy jeez, we're in November. Where does the time go? Mom, Dad, you always told me that uh, that time flies, man. When you get older, the, the the years just go by like that. And well, let me try that again, like that. And uh, you were right. Time flies. Remember, COVID was a thing, a new thing in March, and it's already November. I want you to think about something. Imagine at the beginning of COVID, if you had the mindset of, I just want to learn one thing. I just want to do one thing every single day to get better at. Imagine where you would be right now in November. And it's like no time has passed at all. So imagine you just did like 10 push ups a day every single day. And now, what would you look like in November? Ah, <laughs> crazy to think about, right? We always think that that the short term is going to be unbelievably painful and it's going to feel like the worst thing ever. Until we actually get to that moment where we can look back, we always say, why didn't I just deal with the pain and the discomfort at the time? Because look at where you would be right now. Hmm, think about it. That's kind of the theme for today. Today, I want to talk about discomfort. I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about avoidance and why we always seek the pleasure, this hedonistic lifestyle, and why we never truly challenge ourselves to get better. Why do we do this? We avoid fear and seek pleasure. That's it. That's, that's as simple as it can get. That's all it is. The things we do through life, it's to just feel good and to avoid that pain. You know, the last episode we talked about acceptance and what makes depression and anxiety worse for people is that resistance. It's that pushing away. It's that avoidance. Why do we do such a thing? Because pain is pain. Comfort is better than discomfort makes sense but we have to realize where would the discomfort take you what is the benefit of being comfortable all the time versus the benefit of experiencing discomfort from time to time so let's think back to march when covid started what if you did those 20 push-ups a day those 10 sit-ups a day what if you stopped drinking coffee what if you met a new friend just one new friend a month and you put effort into that what if you went for a 20 to 30 minute walk five times a week? What if you practice meditation for three minutes a day? What would your life look like right now? Would the discomfort be worth it? And you're probably thinking, yeah, because November is already here. November would have come anyway. 2022 is going to come anyway. 2025 is most likely going to come anyway. You're most likely and listen to the words carefully, most likely going to live past 75, past 80. So most likely, you're going to keep living year after year. Where do you want to be in the future? What skills do you want to work on? What do you want to gain from the discomfort? That's the ultimate question. That's what keeps you moving when you're doing these things and you really don't want to. You have to know where you want to end up a year from now. If I keep doing just these small little things every single day, what's my life going to look like in eight months? What's my mood going to look like in a year? But we want to switch these things so quickly. It's not an on-off switch. It's so gradual. It's not on-off. We got the dimmer switch in our minds, right? Like we got it's slow increments of brightness as we move forward. So I'm asking you, what do you fear? What are you avoiding that's just so uncomfortable? Because I hate to break it to you, friends. The only way to get past anxiety, the only way to improve your mood if you're dealing with depression, 
And you know, here, this is the only mental health podcast where we don't make excuses. We have to take responsibility. That doesn't mean we shame ourselves. That doesn't mean that, that we're angry at ourselves. That just means that we know deep in our minds and hearts that we're the ones that have to make the change. No therapist can pull you out of this. No medication can pull you out of this. No miracle drug can pull you out of this. No God can pull you out of this. Eventually, you have to make the decision saying, I'm going to change. I'm going to get well. I deserve to go through life a little differently now. I deserve more happiness. I deserve inner peace. No one is coming to get you. No one. You have to make that choice. And I know you have been. And if you haven't, well, this podcast is for you. So what have you been avoiding? We all avoid fear, right? Fearful of fear. Are you scared of being embarrassed, of failure? I mean, that's a big thing. If you, if you look at Google and look at search engine optimization stuff and you can see how many people are searching for like, how do I overcome fear? How do I avoid failure? I'm scared to fail. I don't understand that. I don't understand that as a human. Like, don't we all know that failure is just part of the game? Like you need to fail. Failure is freaking awesome, man. How else are you going to learn? fail keep failing keep making mistakes keep learning that's the only way the person who's never failed is the most boring person to talk to all they do all day is just live in this certainty live in this little bubble where they predict everything and they know what they're good at so they just keep doing that and everything just stays the same you want to tell stories don't you you want to look back to march and say yeah man i failed at this i tried this that didn't work that worked so i kept doing that but i fell on my face there but i got up and here i am so what are you avoiding what's that fear is it the fear of failure the fear of messing up the fear of just being uncomfortable the fear that if you try something and it doesn't work then that's a waste of time well we can get into that a little later in future episodes Time's still on your side. I don't care if you're 80 years old listening to this. Most of you aren't. So you're avoiding fear. So back to the beginning. The only way to push through anxiety, self-doubt, depression is to prove yourself wrong. Is to get uncomfortable to push through the fear. To push through the negative self-talk by actually taking action, bitch! Mmm, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Remember, the thought only goes so far. You can keep thinking your way into something. You can re, re you can rewire those negative thought patterns. Yes, but eventually action needs to be taken with the physical body. You need to do something different. Yourself push through the fear. Say pleasure. I'll get to you later. The pleasure is going to come through that discomfort. The pleasure comes knowing that you push through, knowing that you experienced discomfort, knowing that you accomplished something, knowing that you did something that you really didn't want to do, that you played to the weaknesses instead of your strengths, that you chose a new path. You took out the machete in the jungle, man. You broke some fucking branches. Mmm, yeah, feeling good. <laughs> you got to do it you got to take action and for me taking action as i told people in the course i spent a lot of money man making sure i was accountable through that change of getting off medication through that change of building an online course through that change of working out every single day through that change of cleaning up my diet through that change of continually meditating You got to push through. It's hard for people to hear. But I don't know. Is it going to be tomorrow? Is it going to be right now? What have you been fearing? What have you been pushing away? What have you been resisting? You want to overcome anxiety. You can't read a book, man. You can't read the book. 
That's not the only way. The only way is to read the book and then actually make the change. And everyone listening, everyone in the world, I was talking to my mom about this. She's like, naturopathic medicine's awesome. And we're talking about doctors and, and nutritionists and dietitians. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're telling me someone needs to go to a dietitian to know what to eat? You all know what changes need to be made in your life. Most of you really do. You know deep down that you should exercise. It'll make you feel better. You know deep down you should meditate. You know deep down you should not keep going for the sour keys and the chocolates and the gummy bears and the cakes and the pastries. You know that drinking milk every day isn't great for digestion and screws up the gut. You know what you have to do. Everyone knows exactly what they have to do to push through. It's getting you there. That's it, man. It's someone holding you accountable. It's you respecting yourself enough to stop procrastinating. Make the change now. You think every day I'm happy? No. You think I actually like working out and going for runs? No. Absolutely not. It was snowing yesterday. I'm going for a run. My dad's going for a run. He's 60 plus. He's in the snow. He's up at 5.30 a.m. You think we really want to do these things? No, but you push through the discomfort out of respect of yourself. You respect yourself enough to live healthy. You respect yourself enough to get help. You respect your body enough to treat it well, just like your mind. You take action. That's what you do. That's how you push through anxiety and depression. Now, action means different things for both. Anxiety, taking action, might mean getting help, seeing what medications, changing diet, starting meditation. Depression, taking action might mean calling that brother, sister, friend, counselor, priest, I don't care who it is, but it's reaching out for help. You need to do that because no one is a mind reader. No one's guessing and no one's going to get it right how you're feeling. You got to tell people. You got to take action. Push through the discomfort. The worry that you're going to be judged. What are you fearing? What are you avoiding? What action needs to be taken? Who's going to hold you accountable to those actions? I couldn't do this alone. You know the long list of people I have that brought me here today? You know how much bigger that list is going to get every single year until I die? We can't get through this life thing alone. You know that. You know the power of people. You know the power of the right people. We need each other. You got to push through that discomfort. Have someone by your side while you do it. Punch fear in the face, man. Punch anxiety in the face while still being gentle, while still respecting yourself, while still being accepting of your feelings. But eventually, you got to shut that shit off and take action. That's self-care, too, if you want to use the uh, modern lingo. So who's helping you? Who's there for you? Who's holding you accountable during this life change? You got this, man. Just keep on pushing. You know how fast November came. You know how fast March to November went by. Oh my goodness. And guess what? November 2021 is going to come by just as quick. Who do you want to be in November 2021, son? Who do you want to be? What do you want to accomplish? How do you want to feel? That's it. Now, if you're vibing with this episode... I got, I got an announcement for you and I put the stuff at the end because uh, I want to make sure that I've weeded out a few people to both of our benefits that, you know, I've done coaching for the last few years, but I never talked about it publicly. I just work with people one-on-one -on -one as they emailed me, as they saw my YouTube videos, as they wanted help with anxiety and depression, low self-esteem, making friends, etc. And uh, I'm more public about that now. As, as I know, people have been reaching out more and more and more. So if you want to talk to me, just me and you, which is so cool. That's my passion. My passion isn't talking to a screen on YouTube. 
My passion isn't even doing these these podcasts. My passion is working with individuals one-on-one, seeing what makes them tick, setting goals for them, pushing through that fear, watching them change within themselves and find inner peace and motivation. Damn it, it's fun. Damn it, it's awesome. So if you want to talk to me one-on-one, just me and you, no judgment, pure empathy and understanding, that's where my passion is. I can't wait to meet you. So all you need to do is go to conqueranxietywithscott.com. Conqueranxietywithscott.com. And you can just really, if you're dealing with depression, replace that word anxiety with depression as you go through this short questionnaire and you just fill that out and then you select a time on my calendar if you want to chat. That's it. Then we chat and see if we'd be a good match working together and, and you know, pushing through that discomfort, achieving some of those goals doesn't matter. Some people I'm working with, okay, their diet needs to be fixed and they know that, but they need someone by their side to be like, yo, Scott, I really want some sour keys, bro. What do I do? Right? You need someone to hold your hand sometimes along these journeys. And it would be awesome if we're a good match, if you're vibing with this content and, and you really want change, anxiety, depression, well, conquer anxiety with Scott.com. All right. We'll talk about mental health. We'll talk about how you're doing. Come say hi. Uh, fill out the questionnaire. That brings you to my calendar. Put in a slot. And then we'll have a chat. It's really cool to actually talk like one-on-one with people who, who watch my content, listen to this stuff. That's where the gold is. The interpersonal relationships. That's what I live for, man. Because social media, all that stuff you see that I post, you know that's all bullshit. You know that I hate looking at a screen. That's the one thing. I hate texting. I hate social media. It's poison. It's the devil. But talking to you one-on-one, seeing how we can actually boost you to the next level, right? That's what I absolutely love. So conqueranxietywithscott.com. The link's in the description as well. Set up a call with me. Let's have a chat, man. Obviously, there's thousands of listeners on here, so that shit's going to get booked up quick. So uh, make sure you do that right when you listen here. Go to that website right now. I know you got your phone on you. You got your computer on you. Just go to that, set up a time, and uh, let's have a chat. I can't wait to meet you. This is going to be awesome. All right. Push through that discomfort. You're a badass motherfucker. Let's go, baby.